Somehow I must find a clue about Scissorman. Helen? I heard you were attacked by Scissorman. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the Clock Tower case, though. Maybe he will go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I, I think he's in the library. He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him, then. Uh, would you please tell him to come back soon? The investigation of the scene seems to be over. Helen! Are you alright? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did. But I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No. And Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn. I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue about Scissorman. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Oh, yes. I'll ask Gotts about Rick. Got any new info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. He's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family? Of the Clock Tower case? That would mean he... Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he doesn't know anything about the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissorman. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissorman, you want to get your hands on it too? Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue, right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Would you? Sure. I'll go now. Please be careful. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yeah, if you know something, Gramps, tell me. Right now I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gotts, do you know of a castle? Called... Barrow's Castle. Barrow's Castle? Yes, yes. It's a castle in England. Then, before the Barrow's family moved... Yes. That is what I've heard. So, what's up with the castle? A monster was once born there. That terrorized the local children. How's that? That'd be Scissor Man. I'd always thought it was a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was, um, killed. By his father. His father was the head of the household of the thirteenth generation of Barrows. So the old man killed his own son. Listen, Gramps. Do you know where the castle is? 
Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. What's wrong? Victor! Be quiet! What's the matter, boy? Don't make such a racket! <gasps> It's you! Oh. Oh no! What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, this has got to be that statue Teach was talking about. This picture, it's a bit crooked. What? I found it. The location of the Barrow's Castle. I've done what I came for. Now I've just got to get out of here alive.
This could be used to blind someone. A wooden mask. Probably a souvenir from Africa or something. I wonder if Gotts was able to get the statue all right. I'd better go to the police station. Hi, Teach. It was my turn this time. What happened? You want to know what happened? Scissorman attacked me. I ain't got no choice but to believe in him now, do I? Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I got the statue, too. What's an intriguing case. I would love to see the scissor man. Huh? You'd regret it if you did, Professor. By the way, Teach, I found a clue. You did? Yeah, there's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. I now know where it is. The Barrows Castle. The place where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated here. Scissorman's home. Yes, that's probably right. You want to go? We might learn something. Yes, let's go. Right. Then be on the first plane in the morning to England. Fascinating. I'll go with you. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell? You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information that you're going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So, it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. How about it? Maybe join you? I don't mind. But I don't know if Guts will like it. Hey, hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. All right. See you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Miss Maxwell. I, I heard Scissorman is back. You know about it already? I, I just saw it on the news. There was another murder. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes. We're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We're hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? 
Edward, what are you saying? If we don't do anything, he'll kill me, too. I want to go along and help. Edward, that's... Please, Kay. Well, all right then. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, all right. We'll be on the first flight tomorrow morning. Helen, we heard you're going to the Barrow's Castle in England. Well, yes. We've decided to go with you too. You have? This will be a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun! Oh, I see. Hey, I heard you're going to England. I have to say, I'm pretty envious. I wish I had thought to apply for a passport too. Helen, are you alright? Yes, I was able to get the statue, and I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me you were going to the Barrow's castle. Suddenly we've got ten people going to England. Christ, this is supposed to be serious business. I've contacted the police in England and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Thank you, Gott. We're coming to get you, Scissorman. This time, you'll be doing the running. It'll be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange. Where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for him, but she can't find him anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle! Hurry! What's wrong, Teach? Everyone's waiting. Oh. Yes. This is...